The original Mega Man was released on December 17th, 1987 for both the Nintendo Famicom and the Nintendo Entertainment System. From what I understand, it had a simultaneous worldwide release. The game was the first of its kind to allow players to choose the level they wanted to conquer instead of having a predetermined list. Gameplay is inspired by Rock, Paper, Scissors, taking one weapon from one boss and using it against another to do more damage. For some reason, the NES games are considered extremely difficult and a lot of people don't want to tackle them because of this. To be fair, when you've beaten them a couple hundred times each like I have, I guess it is easy to say that they're easier than people think, but I'd like to share some of my tips and tricks with you to help get players too nervous to start them a head start. First and foremost is the topic of the boss order. Once you've beaten the game a couple times and you feel comfortable doing a buster only run, you can honestly start anywhere. But for a first time player, it's important to pick an easy boss to start with to let you learn the mechanics of the boss, the physics, everything about that. The original Mega Man has some wonky physics here and there, so it doesn't feel as smooth as later Mega Man games. When I was a kid, I used to start with Cut Man, because he was easy to fight, and shooting him with your buster knocked him back at least like 30 feet. However, as an adult, I start with Bomb Man, because Bomb Man's level allows you to only have to go to Elect Man's stage once, but we'll get back to that. One of the modern conveniences of the latest Mega Man collection is that it allows you to challenge the bosses on your own time without having to go through the levels. Here's some footage I recorded of me doing that, just to kind of give you a glimpse of what you're up for. Cutman is weak to the super arm, and both of those blocks will kill him, but he's easy enough to fight with your buster that you can just keep your distance and continue to spray him down. Gutsman is weak to the Hyper Bomb. The bomb blast radius is roughly one Mega Man away from its center. That's a unit of measurement now. It's important to keep your distance from Gutsman because the blocks he throws explode into a spray, and by keeping away from him, you can try to jump over the last bit of spray. Bomb Man is a chaotic boss who is constantly jumping around the room. His bombs explode on impact and have the same blast radius they would if you were using them. Again, you can fight him with the buster, he's easy enough to do on a first playthrough. The only thing you lose on a game over is your score, which doesn't really matter. His weakness is the firestorm, which gives you a second chance to hit him with the radial ball of fire. Elecman is a very dangerous boss, and easily one of the hardest original Robot Masters next to Fireman. It's very important to keep him to the right and you to the left so that you can stay on top of these blocks over here. His Thunder Beam has a slightly bigger hitbox than it looks like, and does massive damage, able to kill you in three hits. Use the downward arc of the Rolling Cutter to keep Elecman away while you jump over his Thunder Beam. Iceman is a piece of cake. He goes down in just a couple hits from the Thunder Beam, but even if you didn't want to use it, it's easy to jump between the Ice Slashers he fires to Buster him. Fireman is easily the hardest and most dangerous of the original Robot Masters, and gave me the most trouble when I was a kid. His Firestorm attack creates a ball of fire underneath it as you jump over it, so it's important to keep that in mind. I don't really have a good strategy for him. Just use the Ice Slasher and try to take as least damage as you can. You can try to run away from the Firestorm to give yourself more room to jump over, but Fireman is a very aggressive boss. Here's a short recording of me doing the platforming section from Gutsman stage. This is considered to be one of the hardest parts in the game, and it's right at the very beginning of the level. The platforms drop a hair of a second before it hits the dotted line part. This part is really all about just using your reflexes. Next up, we need to address the Magnet Beam. The Magnet Beam is located in the Lechman stage towards the end of the level. You need to use either the Super Arm or the Thunder Beam to break the blocks to get to the Magnet Beam. The reason I mention that we need to only come to Elect Man stage once is because if you start with Cut Man, you could fight Elect Man next because of his weakness, but you'll have to return to the stage at some point in order to get the Magnet Beam. So it's easier to start with Bomb Man, 
get the super arm after defeating Gutsman, and then use the super arm to get the magnet beam to only have to go through the level one time. This isn't an item you can just ignore, as you have to have it in order to beat the first Wily level. It allows Mega Man to create platforms underneath him for as long as you hold down the button. However, the platforms disappear in a matter of seconds, so make sure that if you're going to use it as a crutch, you move as quickly as possible. And that's it for today. That's all I want to teach you. I want you to try to take what you've learned today and conquer Wily Castle on your own. If you need more help, just leave a comment below. Otherwise, if you would like to leave your own tips and tricks for future videos, as well as give recommendations for what you would like to see in a future video, leave a comment below. I do videos like this for fun, and they get demonetized almost immediately, even though I'm a small channel. So if you liked what you saw and you'd like to leave a tip, I have a link to my coffee down below. I do these videos for fun in my spare time when I'm not at work or school. If you would like to see me play Mega Man games in their entirety, I have a full playlist of me playing all of the various Mega Man games in... Eh, almost... some kind of an order? <laughs> Regardless, I hope that you and yours are staying healthy during the pandemic, and look forward to future videos.